Good day, we are one of the MBA full-time groups for decision analysis and we based our operational research problem or assignment on a pharmaceutical manufacturing firm. Now, the background of the company is Afriplex is a leading international supplier of wellness product solutions and their slogan is from source to shelf. Now, what they do is they harvest high quality raw materials and then they transform these into a range of innovative client specific products and services. Now the company has three different divisions, namely the plant cultivation, product development and product manufacturing. Now we've approached the company and they gave us the data and told us the problem and so on and we've defined the basic manufacturing process. Now there's inventory in two different stores, namely the main store and the cold store and both of them got uh, inventory and there's limited con um, amount of resources available and that makes one of the constraints. Now we've got the formula of the products as well and we've got five different products that need to be manufactured to A, B, C, D and E and with all of them we've got a minimum amount of each that we need to manufacture. And one of the constraints also is the storage capacity because we've only got six tanks and there's a few um, constraints with these tanks as well. And with these we can maximize revenue. Now the problem is the product manufacturing division of Afrobix currently faces a challenge of meeting the purchase orders of contract distributors and we need to manufacture five different products and what we can do is we can manufacture as much as we can because we have, although we have a minimum demand the axes can be sold immediately in the next few days or weeks. Therefore we want to manufacture the highest amount we can with the amount of resources available and we want to maximize the revenue. Now our model is an integral linear pro programming model and our requirements was well-defined object function, alternatives in forms of variables and the restrictive resources in terms of constraints and then the data that we got. Now objective, the objective is to maximize revenue. And this is achieved by producing the highest amount of products that we can under the given constraints. Now our objective formula is the selling price of the product times the quantity of the product. And as you can see in the formula, it's a five different products um, with the selling price and the excess amount of um, products that we, we can manufacture and sell. Our decision variables is main one, the integral decision of variable is the quantity of products batches that we can produce. Now this is also constrained because the products can only be manufactured in batches of 50 kilograms each and the formula is given into kilograms. And then we got a binary decision variable and that's our tank allocation because the products cannot share the same tank because then it will blend it to, then it will be blended together. And then our other decision variable is the tank needs to be filled in kilograms and it only got a certain amount of capacity. As we can see in one of the constraints, our purchase order in batches is the one constraint and we need to be equal or more than the minimum demand of purchase order per, for, for each product. And then we've got the tank allocation, it's a linking constraint and we can only share one product at a time or add one product at a time in each tank as mentioned before. Now of the constraints as well, we've got a tank capacity got six different tanks and then we got a certain amount of capacity that needs to be that can be filled up and then one of the other constraints is that these five different products have different ingredients and some of the ingredients are shared amongst these um, five different products now the data um, was spent in the stock for November 2013 and we got our purchase orders we have the number of tanks available the capacity for the tanks selling prices of these products, the product formulas and then the add up demand of the health center so we can just manufacture as much as we can. Now the optimization results showed us that the, given the, the minimum demand we need to achieve we've got a surplus in a certain of the products and we can see that in product B um, is probably the one that's most effective in maximizing the revenue. Um, then maximum revenue that we achieved is 276,000 rand and with the other optimization results is our, our optimal tank allocation we can see that three of the tanks are full 
and the first two is not so full to compete the rest. Now optimization results is um, got optimal raw material usage and what we can see is that the citric acid monodride, the Garcinia gamboa extract and this um, xanthan gum is in excess quite a lot. Now, there can be other reasons for it because the company had to decide, say for instance, that the buying in bulk in large amount of quantities, the selling price would be less. So, but what we can say is if it's a just-in-time manufacturing company, then we can say that these products above, say for instance, 70% plus, um, is too much access and can be differently purchased to op optimize um, just-in-time manufacturing. Now, our recommendation is we got available tank um, capacity left and by manufacturing some of the products, we, we can see that later in the Excel file as well, we can maximize their revenue by another 16,000 Rand. Thank you very much. And this is the full-time MBA group and our group members is Daniel Nell, Aya Miller and Bridget Mosey. Thank you.